Howdy, howdy. <laughs> what are we doing here, Dennis? <laughs> so, today I'm going to split the crankcase, uh, crankcase and uh, yeah, we'll see what's inside. And uh, as far as I'm, as I know, you would like to inspect the crankshaft. Yeah. Am I correct? Yeah, got the equipment on the way. Yeah, it's a beautiful day too, so nice weather, not too hot, not too cold. So yeah. Yeah, it is rotating. Yeah. Okay, nice. So it looks like we need a little pressure for. I mean, the. Contro 
fireworks. It's pretty good. Well, when we magnetically test the thing, hopefully it looks as good with that as it does now. But we'll see. because I am going to do a magnetic inspection on this. Okay. Um, because I bought this engine, pretty good deal actually, um, but it didn't come with any logbooks. Yeah. So the guy told me it wasn't prop strike, but then I was talking to Millhouse, the guy who rents out this hangar, yeah. and he's like, you know what, people lie. Yeah. <laughs> Always. Yeah. And I was like, well, we already have this thing in pieces. And you know, with, with this guy, it was only a day, day's worth of work to get this split apart. So I got the equipment coming. Mm -hmm. To magnetically test this just to make sure there's no cracks or anything. I mean, it looks pretty good. Um, it only has 1400 hours on the bottom. Actually, it hasn't ever been overhauled before. Mm -hmm. wow. So it came out of this like the factory. Um, but it sat for a while. So I was worried a little bit about corrosion, but yeah, it looks good. But we'll, we'll see when I manage it. I think the only thing you have to worry about on What's the camera? Cam. Cam. So yeah. that's, that's the thing. Well, the camera's cheaper too if you to replace it than the crank because that thing is a whole piece of steel. <laughs> but I mean, this is what goes bad on my phone. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It looks cool. I can see they sit, they get corrosion, and when they run, they just eat, eat the loads right off. And yeah, luckily the guy who, who gave me this he, he's a, you know, he, he knows his stuff, and, yeah. you know, they say not to so grab this, on this it. this project didn't have an engine with it? No, it didn't. So, well, the guy wanted to sell me an engine, but he wanted a bunch of money for it. Uh, and I was like, he, he gave me this for a pretty good deal, but um, the gear was, so essentially they had what's called a no shimmy event. So he had a perfectly fine landing, perfect time. And then the, the nose went like this, and he had a prop strike because it collapsed forward. Uh, There's a common issue where if you don't tighten this uh, shimmy damper, yeah. it'll get shimmy on like, you know, it's perfect. You get what you get. And yeah, he bought all the parts to do it, but I think he realized how much work it was going to be, and then decided uh, to just sell it. Yeah. Because he, he bought all these parts. These are brand new. This, uh, this, and this. Oh, yeah. And they're like upgraded because they're actually better than what the factory makes. This cam is 1,400 hours now? 1,400 hours, yeah. Damn, man, that's yeah. a good shape. Well, I'm, I'm glad to hear uh, an opinion on that. Out of this. There's a, an operation out of uh, Oklahoma. Right. You've probably heard of them. Aircraft specialties, I think they are. Yeah. And they do, they'll resurface a cam or whatever, and yellow tag it or red tag it or whatever. Well, luckily it's an experimental, so technically I don't need the yellow tag, which is why I'm not going for the full overhaul. If it was certified, <laughs> you pretty much go for here to have the pieces, but experimental. Well, when you, you just, got it down, you might as well have it at least looked at. Yeah, I can get it looked at. Put it in the thing and put it, you know, put the, like that. But he's got to do his own magnetic particle inspection yeah. anyway, yeah. so he's not going to see that. Yeah, yeah. If, if these are made of steel or not? Yeah, uh, yeah, they are. And you know what I might be able to do is I might be able to get the, the dial gauge and, and test yeah. the rotation if I can get yeah. one a gauge for it. Mm -hmm. um, and do it do it myself. It's not too hard. It's just a little feeler. But the problem is getting a level surface. Yeah. In the first yeah, place. Jake made for it. Yeah. I might think about doing that. Over that. Now. Yeah. If you can right. get the dial indicator, you're good to go. Yeah. For an iPod 40. You get it and take with it too. I got everything. I got the magnetos. I got the cylinder. Oh. I sent off the cylinder. So those are getting uh, completely overhauled. Is so, that the place um, south from here? Or you know what? Go to Florida. I have my doubts because if you buy an engine from Florida, you're almost guaranteed to get corrosion. Mm -hmm. But somehow, by some miracle, uh, he, he said it didn't have any corrosion. It's like, okay, well, I'm sort of trusting you. So. Sorry, we don't mean to interrupt you. You got business to take care of. I don't got business. Dennis got business. He just started a, a flight school. 
He is, uh, oh, you do? I think your yeah. your first student just passes. Uh, second student. Second student. Where's your school at? It's like, uh, oh. Oh, you, you, you want to move here, though, right? Yeah. That'll uh, <laughs> be great. All right. Well, I appreciate it, Dennis. Okay, see ya. Uh, so, do we have to do something tomorrow? So, uh, maybe. But I'll, I'll, I'll text you. Okay, let's be done. Dennis, do you have planes to, to, to use for play, or does the person have to bring your own plane? Uh, no, I've got an assessor on detail, like, trying to run my 172 for a power train. Okay. It's totally completed. Okay, so, so they can run them wet, get the instructor, and go. Yeah, we already uh, have a couple of instructors, so. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. Right. But he, he's about to get his uh, AMP. Alright, yeah. wait for the presentation. This is my next goal. Yeah. To, to get I think you'll get it easy. No problem. Yeah. This, this guy is smart. This guy is smart. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to redo this whole panel. I'm going to put. I'm actually going to keep the G5s. I was going to put a G3X in because I've had it before. But then you get that thing where it's like, oh, I'm going to upgrade one thing. Well, I might as well upgrade the rest. And suddenly your total goes from 3 grand to like 20 grand. Yeah. And I'm like, well, I don't know that. So I'm just gonna put an iPad out in there and uh, wire it up because I have one of those in the series that I sold. I love it. I have have them. Oh, you did get that series? Yeah, yeah. It was. Uh, was that Skywagons or something? Um, no, it was a series I started pointing. I sold it with uh, I think I don't know, uh, Lone Mountain. Huh. Yeah, they they actually the people have all the aircraft from. Uh, I sold it to a guy out of Reno. Uh, I should have said something by the Saturday to pick up some plugs for it or something, but. Um, you know, I, I sold it to him. That had a great stack in it. That thing would fly you all the way down the ground if you wanted to. <laughs> um, but I loved, you can get this um, $300 iPad mount. Yeah. And it charges your iPad, but it also cools it. Yeah, so during the summer, it doesn't overheat. Right. So, and you can get that, you can connect it to your uh, 650, and you can stream flight data. Okay. So your iPad will show you lost location, it'll show you ADS and traffic weather. And so it's like having the most powerful MFD you could ever imagine, just like hooked up to the plane. And it's like, I the price. Yeah, for, for you know, a tenth of the price compared to a D3X. Not that the D3X is nice because it's. Does this have a smoke? Something like that? For smoke? No, it does not. That, it has a CO2 detector, but that's just a little sticker. No, 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 what's the, what's the pump? Oh, that, that pump there? Yeah. That's the hydraulic pump that runs the, the gear. Yeah, it's a, it's a retract. Retri 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 well, I'm almost done this year. I'm waiting on three more parts to arrive, and then I can start doing hydraulic uh, actuation tests. And then all I have to do is I have the cylinder loaded and overflow the factory new. Um, it's actually the cool thing about it is this engine came with cylinders. Are the cylinders for I don't remember. It's something that all they do is cylinders. Is, is it Lonnie's way he had his done? I don't know. It's somewhere out in the Midwest. Oh. I, I, but, but you know they came and the cool thing about these cylinders is since this is a first run engine, only 1400 hours, when you get uh, cylinders from the you know uh, reman, you don't know how many comes in, right? They got 6,000, 8,000, yeah. 10,000 hours in yeah. But so I'm gonna send them out, they're gonna get rehomed and pretty much come back back for new. Yeah. And then I actually have a new propeller on the way, a uh, brand new propeller, same company that did the propeller for my SR20. Um, I don't remember the name of them, but uh, it was like Midwest something, but yeah, they got me the only propellers. You know, it's, it's really the deal. Um, but then after that, I just gotta finish the panel, hook this thing up, and get it running. And it won't be too far down the road. No. Yeah, you know, I'm hoping to. Well, I was hoping to finish by the end of the year. I still think it's gonna happen. So I got my new target is like January, February. People are saying they're having trouble getting parts. Part, well, I'll tell you how. how so a couple of parts on on the blaster. I had to make myself. So I have a background in CAD, okay. so I, there's a couple of parts that you just can't order them. They just don't exist. But if you have one of them, you can uh, make it yourself and send them out to get CNC. It's quicker because the company that bought Glasser is in Australia. Yeah. So if you want a part in six to eight weeks, and there's some parts they just won't even give you. Um, so you got to do a lot of your own stuff for, to restore something like this. But I'm going to put actually an uh, electric flap system in here and an electric sensor trim system. But it's fun because I get designed it myself uh, because they just don't exist. <laughs> Did, yeah. Has Eric been by to see this? I, you know, Eric knows it exists. Yeah. Um, but once I get it, uh, get it together, I'm probably going to ask Eric to take a look at it because I know Eric built one. My problem on this plane is I don't know if I'm going to be able to get shirt of this thing. So I can build it. I can maybe fly it if I train myself enough. 
But getting insured in this thing is also impossible. So I might be on the lookout. If you guys know anybody who might be interested in a partnership, definitely let me know. Because I mean, it's not built yet, right. but when it is, it's going to be beautiful. This thing goes 300 miles an hour. So it's, it is the fastest. Yeah, it loves to It's also very dangerous. So that's why I can't get insured because I don't want to join 50 hours. But I think it's funny you can build an aircraft. <laughs> they won't, they won't insure you in it. But it, it's going to be beautiful when I'm done with its hits, you know. Nice. Nice. So thanks for stopping by. I'm always happy to talk. Yeah, all the time. Yeah. It's cool. Well, once it's done, I hope, uh, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's, I can see, yeah, well, I'm not surprised they still have uh, end numbers that are only three digits. You don't have to remember all, you know, under two digits. You, you got a little bit more brain cells to spare. <laughs> that was really nice. It's, I it's, get going, Tommy. I get to get going. Yeah, well, it's nice to meet you. Yeah, it's yeah. Tom, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll see you around. And I'll be yeah. there. Yeah, I'm going to come back. Check that out. Thought I'd show you guys. Crank looks like it's in really good shape. You know, no uneven wear or anything like that. Although we're still going to magnetically test everything just to make sure. But man, this thing looks really good. Not gonna lie to you. The camshaft also looks really good. No corrosion, no uneven wear. Still gonna get it tested. And then really the only thing left is to take a look at these cases make sure there's no cracks or anything but we're going to replace the bearings but the good thing about the bearings is that the wear pattern on them looks pretty good um, so these are getting replaced all of them but if you look at these bearings here they have a little bit of a wear pattern but uh, you know I've asked the engine builders group and everybody said that it looked relatively normal so I'm pretty happy um, you know the lifters these look really great honestly I was a little bit worried about corrosion but there's almost no corrosion in any of the cases on almost anything. All the bearings are getting replaced. We're also going to test this magnetically. And then I have some equipment on the way to magnetically test this crank. So man, this just looks gorgeous. So what a beautiful piece of engineering. I'm really glad we decided to split the case on this thing. You know, since we already have it, you know, pieces I thought we might as well go for pretty much the full overhaul and you know, once we replace these bearings that'll be pretty much everything on this engine it's getting replaced that needs to be so yeah really excited really happy with what we accomplished today and yeah I'm gonna call it a day here you know originally I was going to um, finish repainting these lifter rods and whatnot but I'll do that another day and I painted the caps for the flight sticks too and uh, yeah 